Hi friends, our today's topic is compound interest and compound interest is one of the very important topic for quantitative aptitude and in all the exams there will be at least one or two questions from compound interest. So let's understand the question number one which has been already asked in Allahabad Bank and try to solve it right. So find out the compound interest obtained in an amount of rupees 12,000. So principal is given how much 12,000 and rate is 5% and time is 2 years right. This is given in the question right rate is 5% and time is 2 years. Now if you remember in childhood we had one formula to calculate compound interest right compound interest equals to p into 1 plus r divided by 100 to the power n minus p where this is also called amount right anyway you know amount is equals to what principal plus compound interest means whatever money you are going to invest suppose 100 rupees and you are getting a interest of 10 rupees so this will add up and bank will give you the total 110 rupees after one year or whatever the time you have invested right so this was the formula which we are using in our childhood or maybe you can say in the class 10th or class 8th right but now we cannot use this formula because this formula is too lengthy if you use this formula the calculation will be too lengthy and in maths we if you want to save time we should know the shortcut technique to solve this kind of problems otherwise it will be taking more than one minute and you will not be able to clear any of the exams. So let's understand what is, what is the formula or what is the trick to solve the question of compound interest. So the trick is for compound interest two years we have one formula 2a plus p and this is derived from binomial theorem. You will not get this formula anywhere on the Google or on the YouTube. So please understand it carefully and try to solve these questions within the fractions of seconds. So what is A here? So A is nothing but P into R by 100 and what is B here? B is nothing but A into R by 100. Very easy to remember, right? Compound is for 2 years equals to 2A plus B where A is equals to P into R by 100 and B is equals to A into R by 100, right? Okay. So now use the formula to calculate compound interest for 2 years because they are asking to calculate for 2 years. So 2A plus P, right? 2 into what is P? P is 12,000. What is R? R is 5 and divide by 100, right? So 2A, so this whole thing is nothing but my A, right? What is B? B is equals to A into R by 100. So A is what? 12,000 into 5 by 100 into R by 100. R is nothing but what? 5% which we have already written here into 5 by 100, right? Now 20 will cancel 20. 120 into 5 is equals to 600 and 600 into 2 is 1200 right 12 into 50 is 12 into 5 is 60 16 to 2 is 120 10 is there so it will become 1200 and again you see here if you try to solve this 20 will cancel 20 5 into 5 is nothing but 25 25 will cancel 100 by 4 times and 4 will cancel this by 30 times so 1200 plus 30 is nothing but 1230 and this will become my compound interest see how easy is it to solve by using this formula and my answer will be C. Option C will be my answer. Question number two, what would be the compound interest obtained an amount of 1250? So principal is 250 at the rate of 8%. So rate is also given 8% and time is what? Two years. So again, we'll use the same formula. Compound interest for two years is equal to nothing but 2A plus B where A is equal to P into R by 100 and b is equal to a into r by 100. If you'll see this question is also asked in Bijya Bank Clerk 2008, right? Okay. Now 2, a is what? 1250. I mean p is what? 1250 into r, r is what? 8 and divide by 100. We got the value of a here, right? p into r by 100. What is b? b is nothing but a into r by 100. What is r? r is 8 divided by 100. Now try to simplify this. So 10 will cancel 10. 5 into 2 and 5 into 25 and 2 into 4. So 25 into 4 is 100 and 100 into 2 is 200. That I will write down here. And see again this 0 and 0 will get cancelled. 5 to the 5 25 times and 25 4 times. 4 into 2 is 8. Cancel. Only 8 is remaining. That is nothing but 208. So 208 will be compound interest for two years right and b will become my answer if you are trying to use the formula compound interest equals to 
principal into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n minus of p. Let's see the complexity level. p is equal to 1 to 5 0 into 1 plus 8 by 100. n is what? Time. Where n is equal to time. r is equal to nothing but rate. So 2 time is what? 2 years and minus 1250, right? Now you see 1250 into 108 divided by 100 square minus 1250, right? Okay. Now 1 to 5 0 into this will go by 27 times. This will go by 25 times. So 27 by 25 into 27 by 25 minus 1250. So from here you can see the complexity level of the calculation. And if anywhere in mathematics calculation is more than the problem is automatically becomes complicated, right? So try to use a formula which is very much efficient and it is derived from the binomial theorem which will make your problem very easy, right? And you can solve the questions in fractions of time. Thanks for watching the video.